What's up Madden community? MT Squared back with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. 13 days until Madden 23 goes live and this week we continue to get consistent Ultimate Team content revealed with our top 10 correlates in each position. Today we got 30 cards revealed, the top 10 middle linebackers, outside linebackers and defensive ends. And in a minute, I'm gonna go over all of those with you. So here we have the schedule for this week. Yesterday, I went over the top 10 running backs, safeties, and corners. I will leave a pinned comment into that video in case you haven't checked that out. Tomorrow, we have a special stream. Most of the Mutt community anticipates quarterbacks will get revealed tomorrow as well. And I'm hoping that we find out about the team captains, Mutt champion, and maybe even a promo like team builders or the, or the headliner promo uh, that starts uh, potentially when the game comes out. Friday, we find out wide receivers and tight ends for the top 10 correlates. All right, so if you do enjoy this video or find it helpful, hit that like button down below and subscribe so you can see future content. Both really help out the channel as I'm really pushing for 1,000 subscribers, hopefully within the next couple months. All right, let's get into some cards here. So starting off with the 10th uh, rated middle linebacker here, we have Jordan Brooks, run star, stopper arc, archetype with that 83 block shed. He's got 79 speed and 65 zone coverage, so pretty weak there. Uh, Jawan Bentley, pretty similar card here. He's got 82 block shed, 80 speed, 60 zone coverage, uh, just 75 strength. Next up, we have Eric Kendricks, a little bit more balanced, but uh, under 80 for both block shed and zone coverage. Don't like to see that. Uh, he's got 80 speed, 80 hit power. Next up, we have Devin White, uh, the first of our slightly faster middle linebackers with 83 speed, uh, 82 acceleration, 77 block shed, 76 hip power, 78 zone coverage. So under 80 for all three of those. Obviously, don't like to see that along with the tackling. Next up, we have Denzel Perryman, our first 84 overall uh, with the Raiders. He's got 83 speed, 84 acceleration, uh, 79 block shed, 84 hip power, 61 zone coverage. Another uh, run stopper archetype, but not over 80 for block shed. Uh, we have Levante David, 84 overall, 82 speed, 84 acceleration. He's got 80 block shed, 78 hit power, and 74 zone coverage. Next up, we have Bobby Wagner, 85 overall, um, field general archetype with 83 speed, 85 acceleration, uh, 82 block shed, 82 hit power, so decent there with his 86 tackling, really good. Uh, 75 zone coverage, so a little weak there. Next up, we have Demario Davis. Uh, in my opinion, probably the first of the pretty solid middle linebackers that we see here. He's got 83 speed, 86 acceleration, 84 tackling, 81 block shed, 83 hip power, 80 zone coverage. Uh, so over 80, everything except the strength. So uh, definitely a pretty solid card. Uh, EA definitely gave some respect to Demario. I'd like to see that uh, for the Saints. Next up, we have uh, Devondre Campbell, 87 overall with 84 speed, 84 acceleration. Um, I like that Demario Davis card better than the Campbell card, even though uh, Campbell is one speed faster. He's under 80 for both hip power and zone coverage. Uh, his tackling is 88, so slightly better than Demario there. Uh, but overall, I like that Demario Davis card better. And then next up, we have um, as our number one rated overall middle linebacker, Fred Warner, 87 overall. He's got 86 speed, 85 acceleration, 65 strength, 85 tackling, 89 play rec. So really good play rec, 83 block shed, 75 hit power, 79 zone coverage. Honestly, again, I still really like that DeMario Davis card uh, better than the Fred Warner card. I'm gonna go back for one second just so you can see um, DeMario Davis' stats again for one minute. Um, again, you can see uh, his play rec is um, six less than uh, Fred Warner's. Fred Warner's speed is much better. Um, I believe it was 86, we'll go back to that in a second, but all of his stats except for strength are above 80, which we like to see. Um, yeah, so Fred Warner does have the 86 speed, 85 acceleration. All depends on what you're using them for. Um, and then this is the uh, the top 10 middle linebackers that I just went over. Uh, let me know who you, who you guys think got snubbed um, in the comment section. I mean, really, I feel like Jerome Baker could have made a case uh, for getting in the top 10 here. I feel like he's been really solid, uh, both as a more of a middle linebacker, but also as a rusher. Um, he always gets uh, quite a few sacks um, compared to the rest of his middle linebacker class um, that he's got. Obviously, I'm a Dolphins fan, a little biased, but I feel like he deserves a spot in the top 10. And then Roquan Smith is another one. Uh, definitely surprised that he uh, did not make the top 10. 
looking at our outside linebackers. Coming in at number 10, we have Shaquille Barrett with 82 speed, 84 acceleration, 70 strength, 83 tackling, 81 play rec, 82 block shed, 73 uh, power move, and 85 finesse move. Pretty solid card here for an 84 overall. Next up, we got Rashawn Gary, slightly slower with 79 speed, 83 acceleration, and then he's got 85 block shed, 86 power move, and 77 finesse move with 85 tackling. Matthew Judon next up, he's got 78 speed with 82 block shed, 85 power move, 76 finesse move. Uh, 85 overall, Khalil Mack, our first uh, outside linebacker with over 80 for all of the uh, block shed, power move, and finesse move. Uh, he's got 80 speed, 80 acceleration, so pretty solid card, 85 strength. Uh, next up, we have Micah Parsons. Uh, he's got 84 speed uh, with 73 block shed, 74 power move, 85 finesse move. Um, so, I mean, he's uh, under 80 for both block shed and uh, power move. So, I personally would go with somebody like Cole Mack uh, over Micah Parsons, even though his uh, finesse move is higher. Next up, we got Josh Allen, 82 speed, 79 block shed, 74 power move, and 86 finesse move with 85 tackling. And then next up, we have Vaughn Miller with uh, 81 speed, 82 acceleration, 85 strength, 87 block shed, 86 power move, 84 finesse move. Uh, so here, obviously, we're getting into the upper echelon of outside linebackers. Definitely a really good card here for Von Miller. Next up, we have uh, 86 overall Darius Leonard with 82 speed, 84 acceleration, 75 strength, uh, 85 tackling, low um, uh, pass rush stats, obviously, here with 54 power move, 59 finesse move. He does if 84 block shed. Curious to uh, you know see what his zone coverage was in case you want to use him as more of a pass coverage. Uh, type of linebacker, but he is definitely not getting to the quarterback. Uh, so you're going to have to decide where you want to play him. Probably only going to exist on Colts team teams, uh, considering those uh, pass rush uh, attributes he's got. Uh, next up, we have uh, Joey Bosa, left outside linebacker with 82 speed, 86 acceleration. He's got 84 block shed, 82 uh, power move, 87 finesse move uh, for his 86 overall card. And then next up, we have our number one Outside linebacker TJ Watt with 83 speed, 87 acceleration, 80 strength, 86 tackling, 88 play rec, 85 block shade, 80 power move, and 88 finesse move. So really solid card here. Uh, there are a couple, a couple outside linebackers that are a little bit faster than TJ Watt, but I still really like this card. Uh, he's got 83 speed, and then uh, you know his block shed, power move, and finesse move being where they're at. Um, I believe he's the only outside linebacker that's over 80 for every single one of the attributes. Um, so I'd probably say him, uh, Von Miller, and Khalil Mack would be my top three guys out of the outside linebackers uh, that I just went over. Um, as far as uh, any snubs, I can't really think of anybody. I mean, obviously, my bias would go toward Jalen Phillips, but again, I don't think he really deserves a, a spot in the top 10. I think 84 overall was uh, the number 10th um, outside linebacker, uh, considering we got both left and right outside linebackers, I'd anticipate Jalen Phillips will probably get like an 80 or an 81, um, hopefully to start with the ultimate team, or maybe he'll get a promo card. Um, so then here we have the um, the top 10 outside linebackers that I just went over. Um, again, let me know if you guys think that there's any snubs. Um, you know, I, again, I, I don't really think that there was anybody crazy um, that didn't get mentioned. Um, Roquan Smith, I did mention him as a middle linebacker. Um, he was listed as an outside linebacker for regs, so not sure if um, EA is going to put him in as an outside linebacker or a middle linebacker. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I feel like EA just has a, a dartboard with positions sometimes with certain players. If they're going to be a middle linebacker or outside linebacker, um, I think Darius Leonard might have been a middle linebacker at one point in the game. Uh, same thing with, um, I feel like DeMario Davis goes back and forth between middle linebacker and outside linebacker. Certain players from year to year just kind of flip, flop back and forth between that and then outside linebacker to defensive end. Von Miller is another great example. Uh, he's listed as a right end in regs, but he's an outside linebacker uh, here in Ultimate Team. So I'm not sure exactly how they come up with that. But at any rate, uh, let's get on to our defensive ends. Coming in at number 10, we have Nadama Kansu, 84 overall with 72 speed, 82 block shed, 82 power move. Uh, 63 finesse move, about what you would expect out of a Nadamakan suit card. Calais Campbell, same thing here, run stopper archetype, 69 speed, 84 block shed, 78 power move, 68 finesse move. Trey Hendrickson, 84 overall with 77 speed, 81 block shed, 75 power move, 85 finesse move. Jeffrey Simmons, 71 overall, run stopper archetype with 83 speed, 83 power move, 72 finesse move. Cameron Hayward, a lot of these cards are pretty, pretty similar, um, especially these uh, run stopper archetypes. 
Uh, he's an 85 overall, slightly better speed though with 74 speed, 74 excel, 86 block shed, 86 power move uh, with 65 finesse move. Uh, uh, Cameron Jordan, 72 speed, 72 acceleration, another run stopper archetype with 83 block shed, 85 power move, and 77 finesse move. Next up, we have Chandler Jones, our first card with over 80 for block shed, power move, and finesse move. He's got 75 speed with 77 acceleration. Another card that EA just seems to flip-flop back and forth. Last year in Ultimate Team, he was a left outside linebacker, and now he's a right end. Um, listed as a power rusher, uh, again, with 82 block shed, 86 power move, and 83 finesse move. So, like to see that there, but would like to see uh, a little bit quicker. And speaking of quicker, we have Nick Bosa, 87 overall, with 82 speed, 85 acceleration, uh, 83 block shed, 82 power move, 86 finesse move. So real nice card here. Um, it's pretty common for uh, ultimate team users to use defensive ends as the defensive tackles in those positions. And you'd like to see faster defensive ends. So I would anticipate Nick Bosa, especially on those 49ers theme teams, uh, to be uh, probably in the middle uh, for um, those defensive lines. And then... Um, Next up, we have our 288 overalls. I'm sure you guys have all heard by now. Miles Gary, 88 overall with 80 speed, 84 acceleration, 88 strength, 84 tackling, 86 play rec, 85 block shed, 88 power move, and 84 finesse move. Real nice card here for Miles Garrett. And then lastly, we have Aaron Donald. No surprise, number one defensive end. One speed slower than Miles Garrett, uh, but he's got him on most of the other attributes. He's got 79 speed here with 83 acceleration, 88 strength, 83 tackling, 87 play rec, 87 block shit, 88 power move, and 87 finesse move. So that is your top 10 defensive ends, guys. Let me know who you think got snubbed. The only person who really comes to mind for me is uh, Demarcus Lawrence. Uh, he got a pretty high uh, regs card. Um, I believe it was a 90 overall. Uh, he was definitely in the top 10 in regs. Kind of surprised that we didn't see him here. Uh, maybe above uh, Sue or Campbell or Hendrickson. Uh, was a little higher than I expected him to be, even though he's, he had a really good season two seasons ago. Not really a good season last season. So um, it is what it is there. But that is it for today's video, guys. I did mention in yesterday's video, I will be starting up theme team videos for Madden 23 Ultimate Team in the next week or so. So if you want to request a theme team, drop a comment down below and I can put it on the early list. It can either be a 25 plus 25 or a full 50 out of 50 theme team. Let me know what you guys want to see. And if you did enjoy this video, drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you can see future content. I mentioned earlier, I'm really trying to push for 1,000 subscribers and uh, every subscriber helps uh, me get to that uh, just a little bit closer. Really appreciate it, guys, and thank you for watching this video.